Even in these days of machinery and mass production, there's one thing that's still made mainly by hand, scientific glassware. The glass blower takes the molten material from the furnace and works it into the right shape for the mold, as glass blowers have for centuries. Now it's starting to take shape, but it has to be worked a bit by hand before it's ready to be blown. And all the time it must be kept hot and pliable. A few good hard puffs, a twiddle or two, and soon it's beginning to look like something. Another glass worker puts on the tubular outlet. This must be just the right temperature, or the whole thing would crack. And now for the only part of the process that looks like mass production, making the bits and pieces that have to be added to the jar before it's finished. A skilled craftsman known as the maker finishes off the neck of the vessel so as to make a nice smooth job. After that, scientific glass grinders grind the stopper into the outlet so as to make everything airtight. The finished job, a Kipps gas generator, ready for use in the chemical laboratory. It looks as if scientific glassware is one thing that will always need the craftsman's hand. <laughs>